Hi everyone, this is Sergey from Parallels. In this video, we'll be talking about adding Rust publishing agents and gateways to a Rust environment. Before the technical demo, I'd like to briefly share the recommendations when using Rust in production environments or proof of concept. For production environments, we recommend installing Rust agents on separate machines, so there is only one Rust component per server. The general recommendation is to have three publishing agents running in a site, the odd number of agents recommended to prevent so-called split brain. Strictly more than half of all available publishing agents should be able to communicate with each other at any given time. For high availability, it is recommended using three publishing agents in active-active mode. With at least three publishing agents, RAS allows to enable the auto-promotion feature. As an example of high availability in this case, if one of the publishing agents goes offline, including the built-in VDI agent, the VDI provider will be automatically assigned to the VDI agent running in the next available publishing agent. Of course, you may have more than three publishing agents within a farm. In this case, we recommend using additional publishing agents in standby mode. More information on that available in our Perils RAS Administrator's Guide. For proof of concept and small RAS environments, having all agents on a single server is acceptable. I'd also recommend visiting our website and reviewing the technical resources that will help to consider the required number of RAS agents and VM specifications to comply with your user scenario. And now it's time for the demo. To add a new RAS agent, uh, you need to click on the farm here in RAS console and let's add a new gateway. To do that, we need to switch to the gateway section and click on plus icon to add a new gateway. Here you may either type the server name manually or use the browse button. Okay, let's click on resolve to verify its IP address. You may choose the uh, operation mode, so either it's a normal or forwarding. Also here uh, you may enable HTML5 gateway, so it will uh, use the certificate if configured here in the certificate section or use the self-signed one and automatically enable the HTML5 functionality. So as soon as you, as you add this agent, uh, your users will be able to uh, use HTML5 functionality. And also add the firewall rules. Let's click on next. Immediately we started the installation process. Within just a few seconds, uh, the RAS agent will be installed. Okay, as you can see, RAS agent has been installed now. Let's click on Done. And click on Apply button. And it will take just a few seconds to uh, verify the status. Once again, yeah, here as you can see, the gateway agent has been installed. And just to confirm, the SSL here is enabled and HTML5 client capabilities as well. Adding a publishing agent is also very simple. Let's switch to the publishing agents. And here we also need to click on plus icon. So let's uh, specify the name of the server we are going to use. And here uh, we may uh, optionally install a gateway with a publishing agent on the same server. I'm not going to do that in this demo, but I just wanted to mention that this is of course uh, possible and recommended for either small environments, for testing purposes or during the proof of concept. Let's click on next. In this window, the RAS will be checking if uh, this server already have a uh, Rust Publishing Agent installed, and if not, it will offer us to install it. Yes, yeah, so Publishing Agent is not installed, and uh, yes, we will click on Install button. And the process here is the same as we did for the Rust Gateway. So within just a few seconds, our Rust Publishing Agent will be installed and we'll be able to uh, use it within this farm. Okay. The agent has been installed. Let's click on done again. And now actually you can see that the settings immediately has been applied to the 
secondary publishing agent that we just added. So let's click on apply button. And it takes just a few seconds also to verify the status of the publishing agent. Once installed, uh, you may configure this agent to operate in the standby mode. This is what I mentioned on the slide before the technical demo. So if you add in more than three publishing agents, additional ones can be set to the standby mode by uh, activating this checkbox. And here, if we switch to this tab related to auto promotion, this is also what I mentioned uh, before the technical demo. Uh, if you have uh, three publishing agents, you'll be able to use auto promotion functionality. Thank you for watching this video. This concludes our demo for today. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team. We'll always be happy to help you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.